What's up you guys? Let's go. Okay. So today's video is going to be a Q&A, but it's going to be kind of like fitness and like relationship combined Q&A. Do you so, think they go hand in hand? Yes I no? do because I think it's so important to have the same goals as your significant other. And also if you're watching this and you are single, there's so much to take away from this video. It's not just relationship, um, but we're just going to give a little relationship twist on it. Okay, my question is though, like, and I'm just jumping the gun, like, can you be, like, can someone be super into fitness and like the significant other like not care at all about it? I see that all the time in relationships. Yes. But I think there's something not just like fitness. I think there's something that you do need to have um, similar goals. Um, and I think it also when you can share even a little portion of not even saying fitness, but like health and wellness, then you're going to be so much happier with your goals. Like it doesn't mean like, let's say you love working out and I don't, I hate working out. I still think it's important for us to like maybe go on a walk together, go play pickleball, do like something active answer. together. A healthy it doesn't lifestyle. have to be. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing, but I think having those um, hobbies that you can do together, something to bond over is very important. Yeah, I think when some sometimes when people think fitness, they think like, oh, I'm like gym, like, gym, gym, like, have like to have certain me diet. and my girlfriend are pumping iron together. But like, I don't think it always has to be that way. Like, I have, no. I know a lot of people where like. Uh, the boyfriend or husband or fiance like works out and the girl doesn't but like they both still have healthy lifestyles And they can share like that aspect of things together mm -hmm. um, So like some people do hate working out. I don't know why I mean, I we, love it. No, we love I it. I actually do know why people hate working out and I think it's one of those things where it's like you have to get over the initial hump of doing it True. and then I feel like most people fall in love most people um, start because they're like they're they want a different like physique and then they go into it and they're like, I hate this, this is torture, why do people like this? Then they start to like love it and then they're like, oh my god, I get it now. Like it's so much more than just like how you I look. Um, it's just like really fun. So anyway. Okay, first question, let's go. Okay, what is your, or what's the like fun way to stay healthy and fit? It can be as a couple or like individual. For us, I'd say like pickleball, like what else, like tennis? I think like my favorite thing to do is just being active, like playing mm -hmm. sports. I love competition and thankfully like Katie also does as well. So like we play sports mm -hmm. together. But that's we love our- going on runs, hikes, walks. That's our relationship. But I also think there's lots of couples who might not like that. But I do think like going for a walk is like anyone can do. And I think just like getting outside and doing something active is really fun where you can like communicate. Or go taking um, like a, a workout class to together mm -hmm. like trying new things like i, I think like things. what's super cool about like working out together in the relationship relationship like aspect date. of working out is like a it's kind of like a date mm -hmm. b like if you guys maybe like you don't work out together as a couple and like you've never taken a workout class before like going to do that like you both things. being out of your comfort zone trying new things together accomplishing something together yep like to me that's the coolest thing like when we we did like a hard sprint workout with some friends on saturday and not only does it like when we do that, I feel like it brings us a little a little closer bond. Like we but have with like all a, of our friends, like it's like a community thing. Yeah, but and, like, now it's just super fun. Yeah, and now we do it with friends as well. So like it's a, a new community thing. And, and what's really cool about doing things with like a significant other or a community of people is like there's been times where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I feel like a track workout. Facts. But then all our friends are like track workout Saturday, and we're like, oh okay, you know. There's it's no like, way they, I would have done that workout they, if everybody If it was wasn't just me there. and you, like I'm not racing <laughs> you. Or tough. like it's fun to. Have have people to like push you too so it's cool um, that's what i really like about the relationship aspect as well is you know you can vibe off each other and push each other like some days i'll be like oh, i don't really feel like working out mm -hmm. she's like let's go come on we got this yeah it's like Go accountability and okay this is another question that i feel like always gets asked is like can you do the same workouts as a guy because i know there's a lot of couples that'll go to the gym and they split because i think some guys think that the girls which can't is do the same. fine and girls think that you can't do the same workout now i'm here to just say that like I think it's fine if you have different goals, like it, you might not align, but there you can do the same workouts. Like a lot of people think you yeah. just can't do the same workouts because it's like, okay, Josh looks like how he looks and I look completely different. And they might be like, oh, well, like, how could you do the same workouts? Like, guys can lift so much more. The difference is you can do the same workouts with different amount of reps or weight. It too. also really definitely depends on your goals. Yeah. Like, that one, like, you really have to narrow it down because, like, if I'm trying to be, like, a massive bodybuilder and she's trying to run a marathon, like, we're going to have, like, completely mm -hmm. different workouts and goals. So that that definitely but does I matter. But I also think a lot of times, like, the typical guys that go into the gym and they're lifting weights and a lot of girls are like, I can't lift weights because I'm not trying trying to get big biceps like you're trying to get big biceps True. it's not going to be the same like when we go do an upper body day like your workout still looks different even though we're doing the same thing because you're yeah. lifting heavier weight than i am and sometimes like a lot of times we do go to the gym and split off and mm -hmm. do different workouts but still at the same time you're getting that like accountability you're driving you're, together you're hanging out yep. like so it's not like you always have to work out together but i'm just saying 
a lot of people think you cannot do the same workouts and I'm here to tell you, you can. Um, and that kind of, yeah, it, what you can. And that kind of goes with the next question is how can you support each other's fitness goals? Mm -hmm. And it, not everyone has the same schedule, so not everyone can work out together, but I think there's like a bunch of various ways to support each other's fitness goals. I also think like if one person is trying to, let's say they're trying to like eat healthier, it really, it helps so much if your significant other or even people around you are doing the same thing because it's, again, it's accountability. It's like if I'm trying to eat healthy and Josh every single night, it's like, oh, I want a dessert or I want this. Or if like which we have I might goals, do. I just which might do that. you also have to be okay with because like they're his goals, but sometimes it's nice when you have the same type of goals um, that align. It just makes it easier. Yeah, it does help when you guys are on the same page and stuff. And it, it's really easy to be bad together, but um, it is easier to be good together yeah. as well. So Okay, next question. Do you and Josh take the same uh, supplements? And that answer is yes and no. Um, Let's go. And that's just a personal fr preference too. And I feel like guys sometimes want to take different supplements. Like I feel like you take creatine. There's girls that take creatine. Like I won't take it. Um, just cause like, it's never been like, it's not, it doesn't align with like my fitness schools, but there's a lot of different products. Like even with energy drinks, like you drink more energy drinks than I do. And I'll, I feel like I'll take pre-workout. Speaking so. of supplements, if you guys want to check out any of the supplements we take, we'll mm -hmm. leave them linked down below. All the supplements we take are from first, first form. I'm currently drinking an energy drink right, right now. This is one of the supplements we do take this together. Pink lemonade. Pre-workout parties, baby. If you um, guys know. But that is one thing. So it's like me, it, it's all like a personal thing. I think with supplements too is like you'll take like a full scoop of pre-workout i normally take half because i like that's how like it makes me feel best when i have yep. like just a little bit and then like i like i feel like we like most of the same things but it's like we'll take yeah. a little bit like different. i might do two scoops of protein she might just do one yeah. again all has to align with your fitness goals another product we've been liking a lot is the greens mm -hmm. kdb this is more hers this is more of my alley favorite. and so i feel like there's certain things from first one that like are more josh's and then certain things are more mine but we do take a lot of the same as well no i drink them i'm just like not as when it comes to like the protein and pre-workout it's just like it's dialed into my head it's mm -hmm. like i'm gonna take pre-workout and i'm gonna take my protein so i'm trying to be better and that's where we need to help each other True. out with our fitness goals we also always like it, it is crazy how much like different supplements we'll take like throughout the day just whether it's like an energy drink or it's like the greens the reds or it's like our vitamins like first form is definitely like our one-stop shop you guys know we've talked about them i feel like for a, a minute now because oh, we yeah. really really love first form and like even on our podcast we always talk about it but definitely make sure you guys give them a check out link down, at, link down below um use our code to support us and we just trust me you'll love their products question how can you you balance love and fitness together like what are some ways to balance that I like think make just, it work how do you fit it into like a busy schedule well I think the thing is if you have a busy schedule it's like for us it's like almost like a date like it's like something we bond over so it's like gives us it's like combining two things in one 100%. So I don't know, like you said, taking workout classes, going for a walk, going to play pickleball, going to do those fun activities, I think just grows you a lot closer um, in your relationship because you have something to bond over. Like even, even if we don't work out together, like say, like obviously we have a child now, so say like I'm going off to the gym or I'm gonna go run outside, Katie runs on the treadmill or vice versa, like mm -hmm. we're still gonna have like a little pre-workout party together, yeah. that's like a little bond. And then like after, I'll usually make us a protein shake. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so those are just little ways to bond. But I think the best thing would be is to schedule things out with your significant yeah. other. If like some, plan it out. if like part of your goals are to like, you know, be healthy together or take on this journey together, like mm -hmm. schedule in your walks with your dog, schedule in um, your little pre-workout like an parties. idea of a time. Also, okay, I, another question was, what is your pregnancy fitness advice? Um, wow. Because as you guys know, I was pregnant and then I was still working out and stuff. I think my biggest advice to people is one, don't compare yourself to having to bounce back to yourself right away. Just the only thing you need to focus on is being the healthiest version of yourself for your baby too. Like when you put it on the less of like how I look and like I wanna take care of my baby and I wanna take care of myself. Um, I think that's a really good mindset to be at. And I know that sometimes when like when you are pregnant, you might get in that mindset of like, I'm pregnant, I can eat whatever, I'm pregnant, I can do whatever. Like I'm pregnant, I'm gonna take a nap, like I'm gonna do this. Which yes, I'm not saying you can't do that. Cause I, I took all my pregnant naps. Like there was times where I was like, I literally cannot work out, I do not feel good. But I think trying to force yourself out of that mindset of like, I'm pregnant and I am tired, but I'm gonna go for a walk. Cause I know at the end of this, I will feel better. And you know, like I think just doing that every single day to do something small for yourself and like even even though it's hard pushing through the hard um for the 
for not being hard at the end of pregnancy, for feeling better after about True. yourself. And and that doesn't mean just about weight and everything. I feel like it's like a mental clarity too. And it also does like a lot of people say that like um, it balances your hormones so it can help with like things postpartum. So I truly believe, and I could be wrong, but I truly believe that it helped with me not being as sick and me also not having as bad or any like postpartum. Now that could just be a random coincidence, but like I've also been told that yeah, like we'll balancing out. your hormones with working out can help those. So for me, I will definitely try and work out my next pregnancy and I think um, just kind of getting out of that mindset of like, oh, whatever, I'm pregnant, I'm just gonna like forget about it rather than be like, I am pregnant, I'm gonna do everything to take care of my body and the baby. So yeah. trying to keep switch the mindset I think would be a big game changer. So. Another thing you guys can do um, if you are in a relationship and trying to work out together or like have goals is sitting down and setting fitness goals together. Like mm -hmm. we're lucky enough to work together so we can sit down and like write our work goals and everything together. But I think it'd be cool like if you're a couple out there like maybe you don't work together but you can sit down and still set like fitness goals together and help each other succeed and crush those goals. I agree with that. Another question that we've been asked a lot is or even kind of been like told like I posted a video and everyone was like, oh, like how nice of you to be able to work out with a kid because you have the luxury of having a home gym. Now, were they right? In a sense, yes, but there's also um, a little bit that was like wrong about that because the question is basically, how do you work out with kids or a kid? The thing is to me is like, it definitely gets trickier, like having a baby and working out too because oh, there's yeah. plenty of times where because some people will be like, oh, well, like Josh is home. There's plenty of times where Josh is like out golfing and doing something or vice versa. And like, we still need to fit our workout in like a busy scheduled day. But for me personally, I think the easiest is to work out when she's awake and I put a pack and play in the gym. And yes, I do have a gym, but you don't need a gym to work out. No. Like even if I didn't have the gym, I still would be doing the same thing. It might, workouts would just be more like hit uh, workouts. Body weight workouts at home you can do. Um literally ab workouts at home running you could do running stroller obviously you would need but, but here's there, the thing there's a ton of different things i think i, I think, think that type of person is just someone that's making an excuse but, but i also think it's easy it's super easy to have an excuse because a baby's there and you know it's like you're trying to entertain your baby and you're also trying to take care of yourself but i really do feel like it is very important to not put yourself first but to make sure you're taking care of yourself and putting your health and fitness there because your baby is looking up to you in a sense and i think like you can only pour so much into your kids if you don't pour into yourself too and i know sometimes moms um and i don't want to say it's a bad thing because i think it's so important to pour into your kids I think they forget to pour into themselves as well. And I think it's like, if you go and set that workout time um, and your kids being bad, it's like, you might have to stop your workout and get out of like the flow and that like, it, it is harder, but you have to keep doing it. Like you have to keep like, I don't know, like entertain your kid and then go back to it. But you have to be okay with that. You have to go into the workout with an open mindset that like Very this true. might, this workout probably won't look the same as before I had kids. It might not be like a total, like easy, like I get my workout, I'm done. Cause there's been plenty of times where I've gone to work out and then I'm like back and forth in and out, like trying to get Sky down for a nap or, or um, she's awake and like fussing and then kind of, and there's been times where it's like, it totally has to end, but be okay with that. You know, don't just be like, yeah. oh, working out's impossible with a baby. Um, I think just like going back to It's that always better to try yeah. versus just like, oh, like it'll never work, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you don't, you gotta, you gotta give it a try. At least. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like when we do work out, like my tip is if your baby is like content in either if they're younger, they're in their bassinet, or if they're a little bit older of a baby and they're like in a pack and play and they're enjoying it, they have toys to play. I really think that's the best time because it's like your baby's having fun, you're working out, and it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's it works the best for yeah. us. So that would be my advice for What's your baby. What's your favorite um, fitnessy date night? Mm, pickleball. I, I think going for a walk, oh, a long walk. A long walk and pickleball because I like pickleball okay. with our friends and like if we go, but I really like either tennis or long walks because I feel like we like, I don't know, you just walk and talk. It's yeah. therapeutic for me. I uh, really enjoy it. I was going to say, for me, it's either when we go play tennis and then get like acai after mm -hmm. or something. Like those are those are my favorite little date workouts or hikes. I love yeah. hikes. There's, there's a lot, honestly. Just anything active. Okay, next question. What are three things um, that they can do to break a bad eating habit? Ooh, make it... First tip would be to like make whatever habit you're trying to break easy. Like yeah. for example, if you're trying to like stop eating popcorn at night, don't have popcorn in your house. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yes, okay, I kind of agree with that. Here's here's my thing. I think a little like alternative to that is like, let's say you have a dessert every night, right? Let's say you have like a big bowl of ice cream every night. You, and okay, if you just cut out that ice cream, I feel like your life's gonna be miserable. And like, that's not the point. I feel like you have to learn a healthy lifestyle that still works for you. I would say instead of just, oh, maybe you have it once a week, you find a different alternative. Like maybe you find a healthier, like a halo top ice cream that's like less calories and not as bad. True. And you have that, or you have like um, something that's like lower calorie, but you're still doing, you can still do the habit yeah. and then you could slow back on that. And no, that I agree with what exciting. she's saying. You still need that for but me. But you still gotta get rid of the, the yes, thing yes. that you're doing. Cause like if you're gonna, for me, if I'm trying to choose like a healthy yes. ice cream or a bad ice cream and I got both in my fridge, I'm gonna take the mm -hmm. bad, bad ice cream every okay, single this, time. Okay, this works for me personally is like we will have desserts and stuff, but I know whatever I buy and is in my pantry I will eat. I will randomly go in the day and take it. If I have Doritos in there, I'm gonna go in and eat them. But like, yep. if I don't want to eat those, then I just don't buy them, and it makes it a lot easier. And now I know sometimes people have kids and certain things that they have to have certain snacks. But also, I think just like choosing things that you're okay with eating and don't buy them because it, it's a lot harder. Also, stacking habits mm -hmm. is the best way. So say, like you're trying, you're trying not to eat ice cream at night so you find a healthy alternative and then you're also trying to work out more like maybe every saturday you're like if i work out if i hit my three workout goals this week then i can have the one ice cream on saturday night yeah like, something like that like stacking things like little wins yeah um yeah but i think i think the thing that I've learned most when it comes to eating healthy is to replace those habits with healthier habits rather than like depriving yourself because I think the thing is sometimes people think it's like I want to enjoy life like I don't want to have to sit here and every night and like not get to enjoy an ice cream and not to get to enjoy things make all healthy alternatives to where you still enjoy it. it's like even for breakfast I'll make like protein oats with like the first warm protein I rather than having like a waffle every morning you know it's like I still it look forward so to it. It tastes so good. So I found something that I really enjoy that is healthier. So it's like, don't just be like, oh, I can't have that. I have to have a really gross, bland breakfast that right. I hate. Make something that you love. You have to love the new thing that you're switching out. Otherwise, it'll never last because it's supposed to be a lifestyle, not a diet. Like, I genuinely don't think diets are really that great. No, 100%. Um, I it think it's like a, lifestyle. a lifestyle. Oh, Also, my third one would be to try not to just drink sugary drinks because I think that's a habit too. Like, I think getting like pop at restaurants is a habit. And if you can break that habit, maybe you make an alternative with like an Olipop or what are the other ones called? The poppies. She brings... She brings like a, um, what's it called? Oh, uh, a hydration stick. Yeah, like one of the first stick. form hydration sticks. And she'll sticks. get a water cup and then she'll pour it in. And mm -hmm. Well, because the thing is, is I sometimes Josh will get like a Diet Coke and I was like, I do not want to drink Diet Coke yes. anymore. Like I wanted to break that habit. habit. It's a bad habit. So I wanted to break the habit. Um, cause I, I didn't drink it that often, but whenever he'd get it, I'd take a few sips and I really didn't want to do that. So I was like, the way for me to break a habit is not just to be like, oh, I'm just gonna have water. I bring like a little hydration stick and I put a little bit in the water and it has a little flavor. So it's like, I still get a sweet drink, I guess, yep. you know? So that was like my way of breaking the habit. But anyway, that's pretty much most of our, I guess, like a relationship and like healthy eating advice. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down mm -hmm. below and we'll try to do another video if you guys like this video. I feel like we could keep talking about this forever, so we gotta wrap it up. But yeah, let us know what you guys have um, in the comments down below. And we love you guys. Make sure you guys check out First Form and use our code and we will see you guys in the next video. Ready? Peace. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh.